Hey, what's up? Pixel Flugs here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you a problem with Hitman, that's the 2016 version, and how you can potentially fix that problem. Now, the problem is that if I want to run the game on DirectX 12, um, the game actually locks itself to 60 hertz, 60 FPS, whatever, regardless of your vSync settings, and that's not a big deal if you don't own a 120, 144, or in my case, 165 hertz panel. Um, that's an Acer Predator XB1, by the way, G-Sync and all. So I've got this on-screen display enabled here, right there in the corner, so you can see um, the G-Sync measured frame rate as it actually kind of gets spat out by the GPUs. Anyway, so in the options, I've got DirectX 12 enabled. So I'm just going to press play, and the game is going to load. So I've, I've looked, you know, for a fix for quite a while in the forums, and a lot of people just say, oh, that's the way the game is, or Microsoft hard-coded 60 FPS in there, or whatever. And people just don't seem to be willing to find a fix for it. And they just say, play in DirectX 11. But DirectX 11 does not necessarily give me, you know, good frame rates, if that makes sense. This game is atrociously optimized, and I, th I think it's because the rendering so much, pretty much every building can be entered into, and, you know, it's just, it's a beautiful game, there's so much to it, but it just doesn't work properly like you get dips into the 20s and 30s and whatever even on gtx 1080s and especially like on my rig that's um i'm just gonna unlock the camera for a second that's a 1080 soi rig and i've actually got a couple more graphics cards in there but that's a video for another day um so yeah as you can see that's running at 60 hertz and there's not a goddamn thing i can do about it so um you know one thing it you may be thinking, well, maybe that's just the menu. Maybe it's kind of like Doom and, you know, you get 60 hertz in the menus and then you get the full frame rate outside the menus. So let's test that theory. So I'm just going to quickly pick my silver bowlers and let's smuggle the Iconator and let's pick the ducky and press play. I'm just going to kill the volume a little bit so it's not distracting. So we're going to load the level. There's a bit of a window reflection there, but whatever. And as you can see, I'm getting a solid 60. And that's all I'm going to be getting. It's it's a good game. It's, it's, it's beautiful, you know, obviously all the settings are cranked up, but it's at 60 hertz. So that's basically the problem. Now, the solution to the problem, and that's a weird one, it's not a fix, it's, it's something that you have to do pretty much every time you launch the game. And I will show you what I do, what I kind of discovered, is that if I go to the menu of my display, and I'm going to select the main menu, I'm just going to go down a couple of notches, and basically what I have to do is make my screen restart a couple of times. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into my overclocking settings and I'm gonna kind of kill the max refresh rate from 165 to 160 and I'm gonna apply that and it's the screen's gonna tell me that you know you should probably set these settings in the Nvidia display panel and blah. so it's gonna restart itself once like I said I use a predator and I'm still at 60 Hertz there so it blinks a couple of times, the game's not crashing, I'm still in the game, still 60 hertz. But I'm going to do the same thing again, and I'm going to go back to my original um, refresh rate, which is in the window settings. So, so I'm going to go back to overclock, refresh rate 165, and apply and reboot. It's going to say the same thing again. So let's just wait for it to reboot. Goes dark. Ooh, what is that? It's gonna blink a couple more times. It's gonna do some blinking. The game's not crashing. 
and you can totally do this in the menus but as you can see instantly I'm getting all my available frames and that is actually much better than what I could be getting with DirectX 11. A lot of people say, oh, just play with DirectX 11, but DirectX 11 dips because this is such a massive game that the, it just kind of, you know, on high settings and especially with all the shadows and everything cranked up, this game barely keeps uh, something like a 40. I mean, I've, I've gotten dips to 30s and, and even 20s on DirectX 11. Um, especially with SLI enabled. You know, with SLI you get all these, you get mac, you get better maximums, but you get much lower minimums with SLI, if that makes sense. That's kind of crap. I have not tested DirectX 12 on a single card yet, but I just wanted to um, show you guys that you can definitely enable the higher refresh rates on DirectX 12. It's just that it's a bit of a hack and not really a fix and you will actually need to do this every time you launch the game um, for some people now I found this niche little topic on Steam um, there was a guy that said that all he had to do was just turn the screen on and off that didn't work in my case so you might actually have to you know try different things just to make your screen maybe restart and whatever um, another word of warning is if I alt tab and alt tab back into the game I'm locked at 60 again so bear in mind that if you're a heavy um, alt tabber if that makes sense then um, this this fix is probably not gonna be good for you but when I'm gaming I just wanna be in the game and I'm, you know I'm not googling whatever I've got a tablet by my side or a phone if I need to google something but you know if I'm gaming I'm gaming so it's not an issue for me but just you know, letting you know that this will happen and it will log back to 60. Anywho, that's been a bit of a longer video than I expected, but hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, leave a comment down below. Maybe you found a, a fix for your particular screen model that's a little bit faster, maybe a little bit more convenient. Maybe you've even found a permanent fix. You know, there's some registry um, keys you can edit and whatnot. Um, so, you know, leave a comment down below. I do read them all anyway. And um, thank you very much for watching this video. Consider subscribing if you find this useful. And we will see you next time.